So last night I had the matchmaking pop up appear for me. And let me just say this season is probably going to be one of the craziest, if not the craziest season in ST1. So in this video, I'll be discussing the current matchup, who I ended up joining. Of course, if you didn't get spoiled already from the title of this video and just my general thoughts and my predictions on what's going to happen in this absolutely crazy season that's about to occur. What is up guys, Meower here back with a brand new Call of Dragons video. So I'm not sure if you heard or not, but there is a special season that's going to occur on the 4th, or that's going to begin on the 4th of February, and this season that I ended up being a part of is going to involve three of the top five alliances in the game right now, which is going to be absolutely insane. This season is going to be featuring TFS, which is the current strongest alliance in terms of power right now, and they are also extremely undefeated. It's going to be featuring BXS, who had a huge overhaul to their rankings and they had a big merger and they're also a bunch of my friends in there as well. And it's also going to be involving EIS, one of the most infamous and strongest alliances out there that has been completely undefeated in their formation so far. That also features my friends. So for me personally, this season features friends in three of the alliances and joining any of them has been, it's not, really the easiest decision to make because the problem is when you have friends in three places when you join one of them the other two tend to get upset so let me just you know public i don't know it's pretty well known already in my cluster on who i'm joining but i'll probably be joining tfs mainly because of a promise i made if i do meet them i will join them yes night when we were discussing matchmaking so with that out of the way Yes, I will be joining TFS along with my group. The Meow Scenaries will all be closing up, will all be joining their Cozly in three days as soon as matchmaking opens. As to who will be fighting, we're probably going to be allying with EXG, one of the uh, alliances that showed up here that are right now around. 7.7 .7 billion power and we will be fighting the combined force of eis and bxs so that's gonna be absolutely insane we got almost relatively even powers on both sides i would say they have the power advantage plus the number advantage but we definitely have the t5 advantage on our side so maybe that will balance it out maybe it won't we'll have to wait and see of course we all know how insanely crazy tfs is act i mean uh, eis's activity is so we'll see how it fares against powerhouses such as tfs and of course there is also the addition of vxs in there so it's gonna be absolutely crazy so i'm so excited for it and i'm so hyped up and i even had to push to 100 million power plus for the season ended up blowing up all my speed ups just because i'm pretty sure i'll never win or even be able to compete in any of the events this season whether if it's the greatest heights or a a stronger lords so i might as well just blow up everything and get ready for anything that comes up because this season is gonna be an absolute bloodbath it's gonna be non-stop war and i'm all for it and in this season as well, we have a bunch of fellow content creators as well. We have Not Casuals Gaming, we have Cinevore, we have Be Self, we have Bell Gaming. Just off the top of my head, those four are also fellow content creators, and be sure to look them up and check them out. They got some amazing content as well. And if I'm missing anyone, please let me know. You know how I am. I tend to forget fast. As for my predictions on the season... Personally, when I give predictions on anything, I tend to be as neutral as possible. And personally, even though I don't like saying this in public, because they're going to probably crucify me in the alliance, personally, I am more leaning on a BXS plus EIS win, though I still think TFS still has a big shot. It'll purely depend on, uh, on each side's activity and how much or how long they can last in the open field because this is gonna be an absolute bloodbath and everyone will probably end up zeroed 
one way or another with no troops and everyone will be running on low gas so it'll just be a pure war of attrition at that point so <laughs> let me know what you guys think in this in this crazy cluster that's gonna be showing up i'm pretty sure all eyes will be on this cluster i don't know what the number of the cluster is gonna be but probably gonna be all eyes on it because it's gonna be absolutely insane we got amazing alliances amazing people and they're probably gonna be a lot of war so be sure to subscribe and stay tuned because i'll try to record as much as i can from the fights and so on and so forth and just post them there plus you know i will 100 percent be preparing guides for every single thing that's going to happen and every single feature that we will see in the brand new season from the seasonal talents the way the map works and of course the new policies so always be sure to take a look at that from what i'm seeing from this map already i'm thinking novola and sofrasia will be contesting the middle region and darlin and is that zoland will be contesting their middle region region and burning legs and caltia will be contesting their middle regions though i believe you won't be able to invade any zone ones because they're all going to be semi-protected as for zone twos i'm not sure if it's also going to be semi-protected or not so we'll have to wait and see how that works but i do expect a lot of fights going forward into the season and I'm all for it. I'm ready to zero myself. I'm ready to push power. And I'm ready to unlock artifacts. Hopefully, if I'm able to, to just go absolutely crazy. So, let me know what you guys think about this season. It's going to be wild. It's going to be insane. And most importantly, it's going to be full of fights. So, on that note, if you like content like this, please be sure to drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss out on the videos that are going to be showing up for this next season because it's going to be amazing and an absolute banger, assuming I don't get lazy, of course. <laughs> and most importantly, join the Discord. The link is in the description. Uh, I would love to see you all there and interact with you guys. Be sure to let me know what you guys think about this matchup in the comments down below. Who do you think will win? Who do you think will lose? Do you think anyone will even win in this season? Will anyone be able to take Dragon? Will anyone be push anyone out? We'll have to wait and see. But on that note, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next video. Meow, meow.